How y'all doing out here? Yeah, I know that's right. Well, you know what? I know I'm in England, but I got to have a Texas party here. Is that all right with y'all? You want to join in with us? All right, we're going to take you to Texas. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I'm Sherman Robertson, and I was born in Brobridge, Louisiana, which is two and a half hours southwest of New Orleans. Uh, my mom and dad moved to Houston when I was a year and a half, and that's why I got my, basically, uh, education in my guitar learning. Uh, basically, when the guitar started for me, it was at the age of 13. I was watching a program from uh, Pasadena, Texas. It was a country show. And I first seen Hank Williams Sr. And they announced him as the country legend and everything. But when I heard him sing, it was like the blues. I mean, he was like really tear in your beer type thing. You know, and he had that, that, that thing for singing, the depression type thing. So I looked at him, I said, well, you know, I said, that's what I want to do. I'd like to play the guitar. I heard him sing, and the blues didn't come into phase then. It was just that seeing him that way, it just made me want to play. And then, uh, my dad bought me a $12 Stella guitar. And he says, okay, because he says, two weeks from now, you'll probably want to do something else. But as a kid growing up, every parent wants to know, what do you want to be, what are you going to do, and that type of thing. And I kept saying music. And he says, well, fair enough. My mother was cleaning up one day, and she was just cleaning up and singing. And she bought this great Freddie King record, Hideaway, to be honest with you. And I was coming in from school at 3 o'clock. And when I heard that, it was just like, I said, this is it. And of course, hearing Freddie King for the first time, he, he was a little rock oriented, you could see, at that time, because everybody was doing Delta blues and everything. And Freddie was just ripping guitar thing and, and singing, and he was kind of like up front on the record. And it just, it just made me want to play guitar. And that's when my first introduction to blues was. 17 years old, I put my first blues band together, which was the Soul Vibrations. But we were playing stuff like disco music and rock and roll and and uh, just a whole, and maybe two blues records, maybe. But then later on, after that broke up, I went and I got the Crosstown Blues Band. And that's when I really started my blues venture.